Alright guys, welcome back. So this is another skateboard video update slash working on the next part, which is the battery. So I've kind of uh, looked around and uh, there wasn't any good way of me to try to keep this thing as slim as I wanted without having something more custom. Because of all the uh, four-wheel drive components, it's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be stored. So anyways, the best thing I could find at the moment and this could be just for prototyping is these little boxes here so but anyways you can see they're not terribly huge but they are bigger but honestly here I had to sacrifice for the functionality of it instead of the looks because I do have a four wheel drive system now uh, initially what I wanted to do is flatten it all out really thin across the whole board but don't really have that option. After looking at it and trying to figure out what the best thing to do, the best thing to do actually, at least in my situation right now and for prototyping reasons, if everything goes well after I build this thing and it's awesome and stuff, I can rebuild this whole thing again. But since I'm kind of prototyping, I'm not sure exactly how everything's going to operate. For this setup at the moment, prototyping, we are going to keep everything as simple as possible and after thinking about it and analyzing, this is going to stay the way it is exactly like this. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to build another one of these on this side. This BMS and this battery setup the way it is. We've got power coming out and going to this. So I'm going to connect them together. But I'm going to build a whole new one here with these batteries on this side. The controllers are both going to, it's basically going to be like this. So the idea is to have another system on this side just like over there and then we'll cover them up like this and this one will get covered like this anyways that's the idea so I know it's probably not the best looking idea but it's something that I can do without trying to figure out how to make it nicer at the moment to get it running so because the idea here is to see how good it is and is it, if it's worth it at all to do all this obviously it's probably worth it but it is kind of a lot of components and a lot of things going on so I want to make sure that everything's going to work out before I get too detailed. Alright guys so for this video we're going to be concentrating on building a battery somewhere in this region here. We also are going to hook up this BMS and it's probably going to be the same place just like that over there. So I'm probably going to put it in one of those boxes again maybe like this and uh, connect all the wires. So. And uh, we do have power right here coming from here. So we got this is positive and negative coming from over there from that battery. So what I'm going to do is I am going to link the two batteries together so they will be as one. So they will charge as one, but the BMSs will be separate for each pack. Anyways, it should work out pretty good. And this is the most efficient, quickest way for me to build this and this is what I'm going to be doing so first thing, thing I got to do is take all the batteries out alright guys so I got the batteries out of the holders and um, the next thing I need to do is I need to bend over these little tabs here because they're pointing down so in order to do that I just use a needle nose pliers and I bend them um, if you bend them too hard too fast they'll break off you just gotta bend them slow. So anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna bend all these tabs. All right, guys. So the iron's getting hot, and I bent all the leads here, as you can see. They're all flat. So now what we gotta do is connect them together. The easiest ways to understand it is that you start with one side and you end out with the other side. So you know, let's say if these were separated, which they will be on this build. It would let's say if this would be positive, it would go like this, and then it'll jump to this one and keep going like this, and so this would be negative at the end of the, the run. So, and I am using just normal lamp cord style wire, which is a 16 gauge, I think. Yeah, and you don't want to pay attention to what it says on the little plastic pieces because you got positive, negative, their little emblems. That doesn't bother you because, you know, you're you're just building a daisy chain together so alright so I'm gonna go a little bit simplistic on this because so people can understand a lot easier so if this is my positive 
you know, this is my negative. So next it needs to jump to my positive again. So this will be my positive. So I need to jump a wire here. And then from here, I need to jump a wire here. And then from here, I need to jump a wire here. And then from here, I'll have to jump a wire here. And continue like that. So, Anyways, let me solder a few things and be back. Alright, so here's the progress so far. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So now I gotta jump from here to here. And this will be positive again. Alright guys, so after about 15 minutes, maybe 20, something like that, um, I am done with soldering. As you can see, it's all connected. I even got a little bridge here. So here on this first one I built, everything is soldered in between. On this one, it's separated because of the way the board is and the power wires that were here before. So I had to leave a little space so they can come out here. But anyways, um, if you can see, this will be the positive. And then it'll flow like this. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on like this until you end up with negative again. So essentially your positive lead from your battery will go here and your negative lead will go right here. It should fit where we need it to go. Now I got actually, I did this too already. I This is the um, negative wire here. And this is the positive. I've got a little bit of solder on it, ready to solder. But this negative wire will actually go right in between of those wires right there. I kind of have a tight fit all in here. So it should be pretty good. It's uh, pretty centered overall. I think it's slightly leaning that way a bit, but not by much. should be fine. And um, this BMS should go right here. So yeah, it'll fit, no problem here. All right, make, slowly making my way into getting this in there. Um, I did solder the positive here to this lead. So, and I got screws, a couple screws here and there, and I got some glue. And this is the glue that I use usually. It's pretty good. So anyway, so I'm gonna be working on this side now. I'm gonna put some glue under these guys and then uh, put a few screws. I think I got one, two, three, four, five screws, so that should be plenty. Yeah, and then we'll have this nice and set in there. Okay, so it's all done. There's screws and everything, and it's nice and sturdy. Now, in the process of putting all this in, I kind of broke off that um, lead, the bridge between this and this, and uh, I had to put this one on top. Kind of broke off the uh, lead on that side. Once you do that, I mean, you're pretty much screwed so but the good part is, is you can still solder on top of all these guys so anyway it's not the best place to solder but you know it still works and um, you know, especially if you don't have your batteries in there it's fine so the next part would be to do the BMS wiring which is these guys so um, yeah so my BMS is gonna be well probably let's see it's probably gonna come out of here and go on top like this so yeah, so now basically, you know, we've got to connect all the wires to each positive of the batteries. So every positive will have a wire, and the negative will go to the negative. All right, so I cut a hole, or drilled a hole in the uh, box where the BMS will sit. A little plastic box. Actually, the batteries came in this. And the glue, obviously, will keep it from going anywhere, too, so. All right, so I got the screw in it, and it's nice and tight, so it looks pretty good. Now I can just put in my BMS. So it clips right in there, and now I can know exactly how long my wires need to be. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can have a pretty clean management. So yeah, this is really nice that these wires are this long. All right, guys, so I finally finished soldering all the BMS points. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. It looks clean overall. So, let me just show you um, how it goes. So, the black wire goes to the negative, and then the first wire goes to the first of the positive. 
So the very first uh, positive wire where it comes in right there on the bottom. So it starts from here, positive, and then this is negative, and then there's the second one, negative, and then third one. And so as you can see, every fourth one, connection is soldered. Fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, ninth one, tenth one. So now we can see the ten batteries. Alright guys, so I unplugged the BMS and then what I did was I soldered a cable out here from the P negative which is what's going to go to the controller and then the negative of the battery goes here which is coming from here of the negative of this pack and also this wire here is going to go to the negative on this side so so right now I actually have negative power here Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the batteries in here because I do want to charge them. So it might be a little bit tough because of the uh, wires everywhere now. So, but it should be fine. Probably need to use my two hands, but yeah. I bent these, all these uh, connector clips so they'll push harder on the battery. Because on this one I didn't do that and I've had issues where they would heat up and melt which one is right here actually you can see where it melted and I had to add some more metal to it alright so all the batteries are in so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the overall voltage of this battery so I got the positive lead here hanging on positive I'm going to touch the negative and there we go guys we got 37 volts almost on just the back connection here we go 37.2 volt to Put 1.2 volts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that around and I got the charger here. I'm going to plug in the charger and let's see if we're going to see any difference. And there you go guys. You can see right away that the power went up and we're actually over here on these batteries. So that means we are getting, you know, the charge to go in here to here. So, But yeah, so far everything's turning out pretty good. Alright guys, so I think that'll be it for this video. Hopefully it made some sense of how I built the batteries. So as you can see, my second build here is a lot cleaner than my first build. <laughs> but you know, that tends to happen. You know, when you, the more you do it, the better you get. So, And uh, yeah, so the next project will be to connect our controllers over here. So I have to figure out a nice way to put them on top. So they're not going to short anything out. So I got to use some kind of cushion in between. So on the next video, we'll probably complete this whole build. And, you know, we'll, here's the covers that we'll use. I'm actually really excited to see how this four-wheel drive system is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be powerful because just with one, it was pretty good. Like, it had a good kick to it. So now I don't think I'm going to have any issues of climbing any hills. Unfortunately, I'm not going to gain much range. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Check out my other skateboard videos on this channel. Um, subscribe to stay tuned on this build and other stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.